South Milwaukee fire crews brought the body here to the yacht club after recovering it about two miles north on the shore. A combined effort between multiple agencies as they recover a body from Lake Michigan Sunday afternoon. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office getting the call around 4 p.m. to Warnemont Park in Cudahy after bikers spotted a body below the bluff on the beach. South Milwaukee fire crews took out its boat to recover the body before transferring it over to the medical examiner at the yacht club. The identity unknown, but those in the area hope it's 19-year-old Aaron Polnitz of Brookfield, who went missing in the water last Monday. Definitely praying for them and praying that at least maybe they'll have some closure. Officials believe Polnitz hiked down several feet to get to the lake, but they say he didn't get hurt on the bluff and instead struggled in the water. His friends tried to help him but were unsuccessful, along with crews that conducted a large search effort in the area. Currents can get to them and drag them under and before you, and it's always a possibility of hitting a drop off where it's shallow one minute and not shallow the next minute. Cudahy Fire Chief Dan Mayer says lake conditions are always unpredictable, but this year they're even worse with some of the highest levels in a long time. In fact, according to the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project, Lake Michigan drownings are up 53% from last year at this time. So far there have been 29 compared to 19 in 2018. It is scary. It is scary because these waves can get pretty hard. And then like you have like little divots. Kate Tregalis recognizes the dangers. That's why she doesn't let her kids or even herself go more than knee deep in the lake. She hopes others take the same precautions. You never know. Yep. Never know. It takes a split second. Yep. If you plan to go swimming in the lake, make sure to stay up to date with the water conditions and let someone know where you're going. As for the recovered body, an autopsy will be conducted this week. Reporting in South Milwaukee, Lauren Linder, today's TMJ4.